You already know what it is. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to every single one of y'all out there. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned with all the latest content. Shout out to my man Showtime SP. All right, so now that we passed that, got a couple things I need to talk about. You know what I'm saying? We're going to chop this up. We'll, we'll make this two. We'll make it two. Surf, Loaded Lux, Loaded Lux Surf, Loaded Lux Surf has been announced. Um, it's going down this year. They had the press conference. There was a lot of things that were said, a lot of interesting things that were said. Loaded Lux, he pretty much showed a lot of respect and let Sue Surf control the process. Now, you know, Sue Surf is a big talker. He can definitely, he's going to talk that game. He's going to put a basketball reference in there. If this was 95, you know, Michael Jordan was on his second and third championship. He's going to do all of that. That's what Sue Surf is going to do. He does good. He's a good, he's a good seller of the fight. He talks very well. Uh, I think in there, Sue Surf also said that he he only he might have lost two battles. We're not gonna do that today. I'm gonna let you have that. But he made a lot of he made a lot of different comments on situations and things. And one that he did bring up was they asked him. Uh, Mills had asked him why hasn't him or uh, Lux battled JC. Now I thought this was a peculiar question to ask during their face-off when you're having this kind of a battle that's being presented, but you know what? It's a respectable one. A lot of people know that JC has been taking shots at Lux for the longest. Where's Lux at? Where's Lux at? Yeah, we know that. Uh, he's wanted to surf also. And a lot of people have been saying, why hasn't JC got none of these battles? And um, Lux and Surf then went on to say that JC has kind of like fell off or he's had lackluster performance. When has this happened? I, I, I mean, as far as JC's pen goes, has he felt, has, is this what we, do we agree with this? As fans, I'm talking to y'all now. Do we agree with JC falling off? When has JC fell off? I don't, I don't know. Now, JC has took a lot of battles and he's had some head scratches as to, he's given shots and sometimes you think of him while he's giving them shots against like a Glue Easy and then against a franchise and a bunch of other ones that he's clearly winning in these battles, some people may think in the back of their mind, these type of battles are not attracting the big stage attention from the big name stars. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be looking at it like, yo, they not battling in Virginia and all these other little cars. That doesn't attract big people like the Luxes and Serfs to want to battle you. But to arbitrarily just say that he's fell off, I don't know if that's so much as true. Like saying that JC's really like, when did he fall? When, when, when? Uh, he battled DNA on a big stage. You know, he battled Shotgun Shug recently on that big stage. He 3 0 to him. He got it. Jerk, up, 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 up jumps the boogie. He 30 to him. He battled Rum Nitty Summer Madness 6. I felt like he won that. Because the question always about JC had been could JC really perform on a big stage. You know what I'm saying? Now, and the, the, salute to all of y'all. The Christmas season is past. I got my rest. I got my reps up. So I'm ready to do this. Like, you know, you, my energy is here. You know what I'm saying? My energy. Look at my energy. It's here. I'm back. I'm ready. I'm well rested. Now, let's get back to it. Uh, I don't know if that's a, a thing that you could say about JC as far as him and what he's been able to do. You know what I'm saying? I think he's... um. I think he did a, I think he's he's pretty much filled the blocks. Now, some people may say that when it comes to being a superstar, that JC, you know, doesn't fill doesn't do it for them. Because a lot of the times they'll say JC doesn't do the extracurricular things. He's not known to do a lot of like interviews. He's not known to have like really big music, you know, because when I said so um Averb, salute to Averb and everything that he has going on personally, professionally. Obviously, he's um transcending himself uh, to music. He battled Lux, he battled uh, fucking Mook in the last year, and he's been doing his thing. He said, We all know JC is cold. It's just when it's time to talk money, they never offer a bag for him. And it's because if the promotion, he does not draw. Taking a hard fight for low money don't make sense for top names. Hard fight equals money, high money, you know what I'm saying? Like you're supposed to get paid well to battle. Um, someone else said, translation, we're not trying to die versus JC for less than 20K. Averb said, this is correct. He is more than capable, but if you want them type of matches, 
you got to become more than rap. See, this is what I'm talking about when you say you got to become more than rap because I said JC will show up. He will rap bars for days, line after line. You know what I'm saying? He overdosed of the coldest shit. My condolences, bars for days. But his peers, the ones that are above him, like online with him and above with him, don't view him as one who's a draw. Saying that, you know, if you put... JC vs. Surf on Summer Madness, or you put JC vs. Lux, is that really a big draw? Like, people will buy into it because it's the bigger named artist. See, I had this conversation. You have A list guys and you have B list guys, right? And the A guys are the guys like Lux, Surf, you could throw goods out there, Tay Rock, Geechee is becoming one of those. Uh, fucking New, uh, New Jersey twerk, love him or hate him, he's becoming one of those. Uh, it's a lot more. Hollow to Don. Regardless of who these A guys are battling against, it's gonna sell. Then you have B guys, you know what I'm saying? Guys that are still talented, but they're not the, the, the big flashy name that's gonna start these cards, that's gonna bring these cards. Because sometimes you have a trailer. And you'll just have an A guy coming back like Loaded Lux, I'm making my return. You, it's not even a, they don't even say who it's against, you know what I'm saying? Just, I'm making my return, you're like, oh shit, he's gonna be on the card, I'm buying it. Goods is the same way, whether you love him or hate him, Goods is the same way. When Goods is on the card, he's main event, he's battling against T-Top. I would say T-Top right now is B, could be A, but there's a lot of guys who are B, but that doesn't mean that they're talented, because you got C, D, E, F, G, all the way down to D-list niggas who can't even get on cards. They did battle, may drop on the app, may not drop at all. Or some niggas who battle just drop on YouTube, you can't even make the app. Them niggas is D and F guys. But that don't have nothing to do with nothing. Um, when I talk about guys that are B, I think JC is B because it's like, he's not going to sell that card on his own. It's all about who he's against. So if you have a B guy, you put him against an A guy, okay, you got a match. A guy, A guy, box office shit. Murder Mook, A verb, boom, you got box office shit. Loaded Lux, Sue Surf, box office. Cassidy, skills, CD. But notoriety, A level. You put them on the card, boom, box office is going to sell. You feel what I'm saying? So, okay, so let's keep it moving. Uh, people that are A level guys are people that people emulate and want to be. Like, people want to be like, uh, goods or people want to be like surf they listen to his music they follow after him people want to be like you know I'm so twerk they wear the hoodies and shit so they say this about JC saying that um he doesn't um he doesn't she doesn't correlate well and he does not uh he does not you know he's not he doing more than rap and like I said in battle rap and in the battle rap culture everybody can rap so once you get past the fact that everybody can rap what do you do different or what do you do that makes people really really want to see you because there's certain cards right there's certain artists like rum nitty now is becoming an a-list guy like his talent level is out the roof but the intangible things that he was not doing hopefully he starts doing more of to make people demand to see him on cards you want to see want to see want to see and JC has the talent. I don't think anybody's questioning the talent, but guys that are um, guys that are A-list guys, you will very rarely see them. You may see them every now and then, but you don't see them as often. Just taking a bunch of just random ass battles. Like some may do it. You know what I'm saying? Like Twerk did it. Like for a while, he even ran off on some niggas. But the ones that are like loaded Lux, like Supreme guys. Like, up there, up there, you're not about to see Loaded Lux going on no fucking one-round tour just battling a bunch of niggas in one round this all year long. You're not about to see Murder Moot running around just battling niggas all... You're not about to see that. You're never gonna... You will never see that happen. I mean, I ain't seen it happen yet. Now, you may see a, a, a circumstance where Goods takes a couple one-rounders a year just to keep his pen sharp and to give people chances against a name like his, but you're not gonna catch... John John Adon is not battling every week or every fucking card, you know what I'm saying? And he's a guy to me that I felt went from B to A, cause after he battled Hollow to Don, now he's like headlining cards and shit like that, and that's what he does now. 
and he's got Bullpen Battle League and he's got music and he continues to build his brand and build his name. And I haven't named every single person and where I feel like they are, you know what I'm saying? But uh, basically, I just want to know, do y'all think that JC is not a big stage? Can he not be a big stage guy? Like, I don't know. What is it about JC that, that makes him... That made him lackluster or that made him fall off. I, I I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out. I was like letting this thought in my mind like all day. Like, is this something that he's not doing? Is it the promotion? Is it the lack thereof promotion? Uh, I know it's probably the fact that you could put big money. When you put big money behind people, putting money behind people could change the narrative. Because it's like if you're willing to invest in that person battling against a big name then it could happen. Because I don't know if they're really willing to invest the money it costs to have him battle a suit, sir. That's the bigger question. Because I don't know if people, it's not really niggas is hating on JC. I want to see JC win. I like what JC does. You know what I'm saying? I like what he does. His pen is cold. And it translates. When he battled Shotgun Shook, that shit translated and translated very well. It did. He worked that stage. He did his numbers. You can't take nothing away from what he was able to do. So with that being said, I mean, are, are these guys right? I want to know what y'all think. Jump in them comments. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that uh, JC is not capable of, 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 of making it on them big stages? Because they said the same thing about guys like Iron Solomon. Now, Iron Solomon, he's proved himself in small rooms. I think his enemy still may really be the really big stage and translate. Solomon, Iron Solomon is a legend to me, a legendary character. But I think at this point in his career, he's really a B-list guy. I don't, you can't put him on a card name first. They had him versus Surf. Surf fucking backed out the shit. But it was him versus Surf that was supposed to make that battle. I don't know if putting him there is going to, you know what I'm saying? It's about who he's against. Danny Myers, good guy, but he's just battled an A-list guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's probably B. But when you put him against Hollow, it evens out. And trust me, Battle of the Rap is all about recouping. Like Sue Surf said, a lot of these niggas is not recoupable. Like you put these niggas out there and then the battles don't translate or they don't pan out. They not trying to spend money to not make money. Ain't nobody out there spending money not trying to make none. In no level, no game, no how, no shape, no way. But other than that, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Salute to my guy Showtime SPM Show. We'll be back. In effect, real soon, you know what I'm saying? Holidays um, is going on right now, but I definitely wanted to come and get your thoughts and also to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed and watched this content throughout the year. Um, we just crossed 18 million views. I know we're always talking about the accolades and accomplishments, but I just want you to feel like you're a part of this process. Some people have been here since it was a thousand subscribers. Some people have been here since it was a couple hundred and they're here now as this continues to grow and it is what it is. But other than that, y'all niggas stay up, man. Hope y'all Christmas this was good, good, good. I'm gone. <laughs>